Hey guys, it's Tessa, welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make a dreadlock hair braid wrap which is really easy and super simple to make. So if you want to know how to make one, keep on watching. What you will need is some coloured thread of your choice, a nice selection of some beads, maybe a couple dangly beads as well to add some extra bling. I'm also using some crafting wire. All these supplies are available at any craft shop and you will also need a pair of scissors. I'm also going to be using a crochet needle to help me thread on those pretty beads onto the coloured thread. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take your coloured thread and you want to pick at least five or six different colours, the more the better as you can create different looks and effects with them. Once you're happy with the colours you've chosen, you then want to unravel each of the coloured thread and cut off about a metre and a half ready to be put onto the crafting wire. Once you cut all your coloured thread to about a metre and a half in length, you then want to take your crafting wire and you want to make this the base of the hair wrap. So however long you would like your hair wrap to be, this is where you would cut it. I'm using a tape measure to measure mine as I would like mine to be about 22 or 23 centimetres long. Taking my scissors, I'm just going to cut this into the size that I would like it to be. Now starting on the hair wrap, we're going to be taking the coloured thread and we're going to be tying a knot on the very top of that crafting wire just to hold everything in place. I'm going to be taking a little bit of sellotape just to secure it onto the worktop so it doesn't move around. Time to wrap. So let's get this hair braid or hair wrap started. We're going to take the coloured thread and we're going to wrap it around that crafting wire in whatever way you fancy. If you have any friendship bracelet knots that you would like to do, then you can also do this as well. I'm going to speed up the process for you, but you'll get the idea. And I'm going to be attaching the beads randomly as I go. got to the bottom of the crafting wire and you've finished your hair wrap you want to secure it all in place by tying a little knot on the bottom so the final thing I'm going to do to this hair wrap is add a nice little dangly bead now I actually forgot to put it on when I was making it but I'm just going to add it on at the end and I'm just going to thread the bead onto the thread and just tie a knot at the bottom And finally, I'm 
just going to use the scissors to cut away any of the threads that we don't need. So there we go guys, that is how I made my hair wrap. I really love it, it's super super easy to make. I also made another one so I'm going to show you how I made kind of like a basic plain wrap. So the first hair wrap I made was using different techniques that I learned from making friendship bracelets. So this hair wrap I'm going to do is just a plain one. I'm just going to take all the colours and just basically wrap it around that crafting wire with no different knots or anything. So this is just a nice basic one so you can compare the difference. At the end I also took a different coloured thread and I just wrapped it around in different directions to create that braided look. touches I'm just going to be using these metal dread beads that I picked up at the hair market they're really cheap and I'm just going to be putting a couple of these onto the hair braid just to finish it off and add a little bit of sparkle and there we go guys that's how you create these beautiful bendable hair wraps that you can wear with dreadlocks or normal hair now I'm going to show you some different hairstyles and some ways that I like to wear mine so on the days where you're feeling super lazy and you just want to tie your hair up really quickly, these hair wraps are perfect for this. So I'm just going to put all of my hair onto the top of my head making a messy bun and I'm going to take the hair wraps and I'm just going to twist it around so all my hair is in place. And here's what it looks like in a messy bun with dreadlocks. You can always tie your hair up in a ponytail using the hair wrap, you don't always have to have it in a messy bun. So just putting the hair up underneath the hair and then twisting it around. And I've pretty much been wearing my hair like this for the last few days and I really love it. It's super easy and really quick to do. So there we go guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment. Don't forget to press the little bell button to be notified every time I make a new upload. And I will see you lovelies very soon. Bye guys. Mwah.